Jumper has a new model out, the T14. We're going to show you all about it today. Is it in your budget? Should it be your first or your next radio or controller to be able to fly an FPV drone? And how does it stack up against the obvious comparison to Team Black Sheep's Mambo and Radio Masters? Boxer, the Jumper's newest radio release as they are continuing their triumphant comeback that started with this tiny little radio, the Jumper T20. And it had a lot of nice features, but it kind of broke the mold of traditional radios as it goes, as it was meant to have Express LRS internal, um, but only optional module bay. Instead, they had this big heat sink. You could screw on something to put a module, but some people wanted a more traditional layout. After the release of this, they came out with this, which is the T20 Gemini version, which supports diversity Express LRS, um, with that system built into this version of the Jumper T20. Now, this is a much more traditional layout. It's a little bit bigger and taller, although the side-to-side -side grip is pretty similar. Some things that you will like about this is that it does have a full-size traditional module bay. And I do like that Jumper is starting to include 2170 larger cells in here. I do like that Jumper has this little fan for the internal Express LRS module right on the back here, which is quite nice. And if you don't use 2170s and say you use the traditional 18650s or another type, you can actually pull this little tray out and instead put an 18651. What 2170 is gonna get you is much longer capacity, which is gonna be much greater battery life. Now, if you're thinking this looks a lot like the Team Black Sheep Mambo or the Radio Master Boxer, you would be correct. You can see that they are very, very close in size and shape. There is a few things missing here on the T14. One, you can see it has the traditional three button layout with the scroll wheel here, but Radio Master also gives you a return as well as a sys button and model button. You can still do all the same features here. It's just a few more button presses, whereas this makes the navigation slightly easier. They both have four switches around the top, two pots, of course, your CNC gimbals in the middle. This is the AGO-1 gimbal right here, and this is Jumper's premium gimbal, which is the Alps DC-90, which is very similar to what's been used in Futaba radios for the longest of time and is very, very premium. If you go to the top, they both have these horrible shoulder switches. They're both almost equally bad. I'd say that the Jumper one is maybe slightly better. Now, this is something that Radio Master have begged for, which is a shoulder switch that you can actually fit a real switch into, giving you a total of six switches rather than four and two push buttons. That is really cool. And it looks like they just clip in very easily. So I know Lamone sort of hacked his own thing together with like a soldering iron, which is kind of sketchy, but Jumper gives you the option to do that. I do prefer on Radio Master that you can unscrew this antenna on the top for fitting it in the back. This one is nice because it folds down, but this one technically could get slightly smaller. Radio Master also has a USB-C on the bottom. This one is gonna be actually for charging. The one on the top is for simming, but I believe on the jumper, everything just goes through this single USB-C port, which is probably fine. You don't necessarily need two. Now, one thing that is gonna get to some people's OCD is if you see this antenna on the top, it's slightly at an angle. Um, so if you think that it should be totally straight, it is not. And if you try to straighten it, you could break it. So just let it be slightly off axis. I know it's gonna bug some people, uh, but that's okay. Since this comes with a 2170 tray, if you do wanna use 18650s, you're just gonna need a little tray like this. Um, if you have any other radios laying around, it probably has this. If not, you may have to purchase one of these for a couple of bucks, or just go ahead and get yourself a couple of 2170 cells. You're gonna get better battery life by doing that. But for this video, we're just just gonna use what we got on hand, which is 18650s. Now, I noticed that this actually says Canon. Um, I don't know if this is like the code name of this radio. Does it have two names, the Canon or the T14? Canon to the left of them. Canon in front of them. Edge TX comes on there by default. And one thing that's cool about this is this is actually a black screen with white lettering and some lighting that may actually be slightly easier to see versus the boxer, 
which uses a white screen with black lettering. So this actually looks kind of cool. I do like this a little bit better, but since it doesn't have these extra buttons, you're gonna just have to hold to get in here. So and here's where you can do all of your setups. Internal ascent to CRSF, which is what you need for Express LRS, and the external module default is set to off. So you're gonna need to set up your models in here for the first time that you wanna use it, um, just as you normally would with any other radio. Really the key thing about this is gonna be the price. Does it cost less than this? This is a really nice option because it is full size. Now I believe the slightly less gimbal throw than the AGO one, but it's very, very close. It just comes down to preference. I just to be transparent and probably still going to go with the boxer. In fact, the clear shell version that I built up custom for myself is the one that I use on a regular basis. And that's probably going to still stay the same. But if you could get this for 20 or $40 less and you're starting out, that could just be the difference between buying your first set of motors or some other components that you may need. And I know a lot of people are very price conscious at first. So the magic number for me would be probably right around 100 buckaronis uh, for this to be a good value. The jumper does come with this nice little hard shell case that you can carry around. I believe the Radio Master also comes with a very similar one. You're going to get a little neck strap if you're one of those that uses that. USB-C cable, spare set of springs for the gimbals. Now, how do they actually feel back to back? I would describe the T14 or the jumper style gimbals as slightly less throw and slightly looser. I would uh, describe the AG-01s as a little bit more stick throw and firmer springs. Now, I actually like firmer springs. I like a little more tension in here to control any shakiness that I might have. Um, so I prefer the AG-01. But if you were a thumber and actually liked a little bit less throw, I could see how you would prefer this. Now, the stick in themselves is sort of like the original AG-01, super sharp and pokey. Uh, but since then, Radio Master has actually went to a less pokey so it doesn't actually make your thumbs bleed um, so if you don't like that you may want to replace these now note that the stick ins on the agio ones are m4 yes this is m3 thread uh, whereas the agio ones are m4 they are strikingly similar when you hold them side to side not just the shape but the grip in the hand Part of the annoyance that I had with the T20 was because I am a hybrid pincher. I hold my thumb on top of the stick and my index finger on the front. And so I need somewhere for this finger to go. And there's just a very tiny amount of space between these two switches here. And it felt just a little bit of awkward. The Boxer and the T14 solves this by giving you this really nice shelf at the top. So it's very comfortable if you do hold your radio like this. The T14 looks black but it's almost like a super dark blue i don't know if you can actually see on camera but the boxer is more of a matte black and this is like a super 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 dark blue it's basically black for all intents and purposes but when you do hold them next to each other you can kind of see that difference i think if this comes out cheaper, it could be a good way to save a few bucks for those initial parts when you're first getting started. Now let's go through a quick head to head comparison and show you. I actually like that this has a nice fan outlet on here. That Pro goes to the T14. I like the screen on the T14 better. The button configuration, I like better on the Boxer. Gimbals are almost a tie. They're both really, really good. I'd give a very slight edge to the AG01, but this is like half a step down from that and very, very good. And it's cheaper because you don't have to buy these to upgrade. Um, so this is like slightly less good on that front. The button layout, of course, is best on the Boxer. Also, if you like to use these six position buttons, like they have on the T16 or the jumper. I actually use these for team racing to be able to select quad one, two, three, four. They don't have that on the T14, so that plus goes to the boxer. Antenna size goes to the T14. Ability to take it off though goes to the boxer. So that's almost a tie there. It's just which preference do you have right there. Um, the thing on the back, I actually like the boxer's hard canvas sort of strap. I like to hold it like a little purse. This one is more of a traditional handle. So that's just like whichever one you like. Battery bay on both is good. I do like that the T14 gives you out of the box the ability to use 2170 cells, but the Radio Master has a really large bay that allows you to use this 6200 milliamp hour LiPo, and I believe the same one would fit in the T14, but I'm too lazy to try it, so someone else tell us if it does in the comments. 
It's really nice that we have two companies both making really good radio options for the FPV public right now. It's something that we haven't had in a while. It's been dominated by Radio Master, but I do like to have a little bit of competition. Just for transparency's sake, I'm still going to be using the transparent boxer for my main radio, but I can see a lot of people going towards this or the T20. In fact, the only reason why I didn't go to the T20 was, like I said, it was a little bit tricky on where to put my middle finger when I'm flying just because of the way I'm flying. And the gimbal throw on the AG-01 is just in my muscle memory for the last several years. But if you're not a long time pilot, you may not have either one of those gripes. Um, this is smaller to a bag easier and if you only use express lrs this is a nice package the t14 though does allow you to use an external module bay like a more traditional radio so it's nice that jumper now actually has two pretty good options on the market which one of these is going to be priced better i will put a link to where you can buy one of these and one of these Gemini versions of the T20 or the regular T20 in the description below. If you buy any of these or anything else, it will help the channel tremendously. I'll also put a random Amazon link below if you would just like to help out the channel by clicking that link and then purchasing, say, 17 refrigerators 